without wasting any time, let's start the trashing! So, GNOME is light years ahead elementary in usability, and the unit to measure the community support difference hasn't been invented yet! However there are some things elementary does better, and here's my top 5 list, in a perfect countdown for increased suspense and agony! I know most guys prefer the vertical desktops of GNOME Shell, but I totally prefer elementary implementation, although this bottom icon only design is probably ugly and inconvenient! But quite honestly? I even like Windows 10 workspaces more than GNOME, which is weird because everyone copied GNOME Shell, so it doesn't make much sense to do better than the original! Oh, and once again, please add drag and drop for reordering them! It is so useful and Mutter already supports that! Elementary isn't exactly famous for its preferences, but it is better than GNOME that has zero customization, and it is exclusively dependent on community extensions! The first thing I want to see, is an option to set actions on every corner. If you use elementary you may don't realize how cool that is, because elementary hot corner system sucks big time for many reasons, but in GNOME it works like a dream! I won't even get bothered to describe GNOME's stupid dock, because that's more sad than Clannad's story, but at least we should have some options, like having it always visible or change the size! Which reminds me, what a great idea of Icon's auto resize was! Hashtag sarcasm! And then, we had all this drama with shell transparent top bar, that came, saw, and failed! When the solution was quite obvious, just add a preference for it! I'm not saying that everything should have an option, but some things is better to have! One of the nicest things in elementary is the custom themes of their apps! Oops, correction! Because everyone does that anyway! So, one of the worst things in GNOME is this repeated grey everywhere, that isn't just a visual design flaw, but also an interaction design issue! Community apps can do an app theming, but they don't, and in any case this isn't supported from GNOME guidelines! You know what I see? GNOME just follows Apple and Google design, but with a few years delay! So eventually we will get that, but why should copy the obvious instead of introducing it? Currently there isn't actually an elementary app store. What we have is an elementary repo. So, when we open App Center and entering on a category, on the top we will see elementary specific apps, and then all the rest applications from Ubuntu repositories. However, Elementary is working for a flat pack store, that will give more focus to elementary apps, and better publishing tooling to application developers, and I want to see that from GNOME too. You see, things like Flathub that isn't a sponsored store from an organization like GNOME or KDE, is destined to fail, and I will come back to that later. Besides, Fedora already created a Fedora flat pack store that comes pre-installed, so, you want to write a GNOME app, and you don't know where to start? Elementary has solved that with the worst possible way, but still they have solved it! Before I go there, that's ephemeral web browser, a browser with focus to privacy. But when we open it, we get a message that for better protection we should use a VPN. So, now we will have an additional server to track us! What a great suggestion from Cassidy! If you really want to don't be tracked, get your laptop and go to a public Wi-Fi, do whatever illegal activity you want to do, then erase the hard drive, and finally sell that laptop with cash to someone who hates!
back on track. So, when we want to write an elementary app, we go to Elementary Developer Web page that guides us step by step how to start. And this is very important, because those guides are meant to noobs, since when we get some experience we only need to read the APIs. But what I really like here, is that Elementary pushes all development to a single language, which is Bala, and that's exactly why that's the worst way possible. But I'd really love to see GNOME doing the same with Rust, because it is a common secret that's the future of GNOME application development. And by doing a Rust app myself, I'd like some better starter documentation too. Currently we really need to see the source code from other apps, and we can only wish that is the correct way. As you already know, Elementary Desktop is basically GTK components on the top of Mutter. For now that isn't very powerful, but this year we finally get GTK4, and most importantly Purism is also working on Fa Shell that is also written on GTK. On the other hand Shell is using Clutter Library, that is pretty much a dead library only used for Shell, and actually it has become part of GNOME Shell source tree. I'm not technical, I don't know if that would be ever possible. But it would be cool if Shell could be rewritten on GTK, so we would have a single code base to work. Just imagine how easier Shell contribution would become. I mean only if we count Shell extensions on pure GTK, because people are so crazy to customize Shell, rather write a GTK app. Simple and plain, I want GNOME OS. This is a huge discussion and for another video, but for now I will place it like that. If Linux will ever increase the popularity on home desktop, then you can only expect GNOME to die. Why? Because some serious company will invest on their own desktop, that might be a GNOME fork, but they will never ever invest serious money on GNOME Foundation, because companies don't invest in products that don't own. And at the end of the day, why I should promote with my videos or someone else contribute with their code, to IBM and Fedora? And if Elementary can create an actual distribution with two people, then GNOME Foundation can do it too, and much better. And not to mention we already have the OS tree images. Oh, and that GNOME App Store I said before, this is only how it can work. If there is an actual GNOME OS. So, get your hands warm and go for it! I'm not trying to be an ass, I'd say this is a natural talent of mine, but reality is, all those elementary core apps are extreme poor for anyone work, and I'm quite sure that elementary user base is increased less than my YouTube subscribers. And that number is pathetic for both of us. And even worse than elementary apps, it is the actual elementary operating system that is based on an LTS edition, and combined is a pure sadness, and people will never really use that combo. Especially when we have so nice distributions coming in 2020. So the way I see it, elementary should move to default GNOME apps, and invest all they got to their desktop, that has huge potential with GTK4 coming. Because let's be honest, these system dialogues will only make people laugh, and definitely not pay for it. Speaking of which, I estimated these videos are costing me more than 400 euros a month. Because I have to make time for them and so I order coffee and fresh juices from coffee shop to save me time, plus I call the house cleaner 4 times a month. So, I'd like you to buy me a coffee on Patreon. It is the least you can do for such video quality. Hashtag sarcasm.